welcome back to the channel. It's me, Alana Watch Attack on Titan today. Last episode was a crazy episode. We had Aaron starting the rumbling. He is taking out everyone who was against the subjects of Ymir. This has led to the debate. Is Aaron bad? I would say he's not bad in a sense of wanting to stick up for his people, but is he bad because he want to kill everybody? Yes, I feel as if there is a line to where it's like, I agree with you, Aaron, but I don't really agree with you murdering people. Like, everybody, you know? Um, but you do have to take into consideration how the world was basically agreed on genocide. Like, they wanted to take out the aliens. Now there's a point where people is like, is killing few um, better than killing the many? And in terms of that, that's a fucked up way of thinking. People, you want to kill a little bit of people to save a lot of people, but a lot of people are bad people? Like, no, 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 I don't like that way of thinking. I don't want to kill nobody. <laughs> if there is a way that people don't have to die, I would rather go that route. <laughs> And leave me alone if you're going to say a lot of that's not realistic. I don't care. I don't like the term of genocide. I don't like killing a few to save the many. I don't like those at all. I'm going to have to deal with myself on that. But yeah, we have that going on. Aaron and Mikasa are kind of taking it back. At first, and Armin was like, yeah, you know, Aaron, he, he's here, he's with us. And he was like, hold on. After he saw all the walls crumble, he's like, hold on, that's not what I thought he was gonna do. And um, freaking Aaron just tuning himself into every subject of Ymir's ears and then basically tells him what he's about to do. Now, are you thinking that maybe all the subjects of Ymir are gonna be okay with what Aaron is doing so they can have their freedom? I don't know. Are they gonna be some that says, hell no, like, let's not make things worse to where the whole world ends up really hating us. Like, we have to find a way to kind of like meet in the middle and you're not really helping us meet in the middle. So yeah, it was kind of sad getting Ymir, not kind of, it was a lot sad. It was a lot of sad seeing Ymir's backstory and how the Eldian King really fudged with her head. He used and abused her had her body eaten by ugh, her children, her grandchildren, and just, ugh, ugh, because he wanted the power to stay in his control. But now it's like she, I guess over these two thousands of years, she had been programmed even after death that that was her sole job to listen to those who had inherited his royal blood and she had to listen to him. So it was really nice for at least that part of Aaron going to her and releasing her from those chain restraints. But now I wonder how things are going to go. He now has the Founder Titan's power. And he said he's gonna make the whole world rumble. I don't know how this is gonna go. I don't know who, who in their right mind is gonna be able to stop him at this point. Who's gonna be there to, to, um, to basically try to convince him to stop the rumbling and see if there's a possible way of meeting in the middle with some people. Now, I understand some bad people, they gonna have to go. I'm sorry, they gonna have to go. Even though I don't really like killing, but the bad, killing the bad guys is fine. Um, those who are not trying to go with the change, you know what I mean? Okay, that's fine. But I don't think killing everybody is going to solve anything. Because you're going to have a war regardless in some way, shape, or form. That's just in human nature. People just, some humans just aren't content um, with what they have. They want to be greedy. Greed is a human terrible trait. And I think regardless of what, that is going to happen. If they are just the Marlians and the, the civilizations that are doing this pact or treaty, and then we have just the subjects of Ymir. There's gonna be factions, it's gonna be where people are gonna go against each other, it's just in human nature. But I, I see where he's going, they have been persecuted for all this time, and I just, I don't know, I just don't know. But yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna stop talking, and let us just go ahead and jump on into this next episode. Let's go. All the walls came down. 
Gabby's like, didn't I just blow his head off? <laughs> and this man is just tearing down all these walls. I wonder what Historia is thinking. He said every single life. That's the that's where I draw the line. I draw the line right there. And I wonder what Annie's doing. Is she still sleeping? Cause them walls came down, baby. Saw. This title saying Annie's gonna come out right. Dang, snap back. That's not what he said. So he meant to kill the elder, um, the, yeah, the subjects of Ymir over there in Marley too? He's gonna die. Dang. You think she's gonna end up eating um uh, Reiner? And there's nobody to stop him. Bruh, I would not leave there for nothing. If he's gonna destroy the world, why would I leave? I'll stay right here with these with his people. What she said? And she, they heard him too. How, girl? She said, I ain't. That's exactly. Her. That is Gabby's spirit, bro. She's. Oh my gosh. Don't she look like Aaron for a second? Yo, she looked like Aaron when she did that. Yo, when you put it in perspective like this, all they, I mean, all they really had to do was to leave them alone. But even to a certain degree, like, I guess that wouldn't have worked because Aaron was um, very inquisitive about the world beyond the walls, like away from the Titans, I guess. So I guess eventually their, their paths would have crossed. But technically, all they had to do was just leave them alone. If they didn't want the, 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 these folks here and Paradis to be a problem, they technically could have just left them alone. They're just greedy. The Marleans are just greedy and trying to get the founding Titan. And then base, that's their fault. That's their fault. If they would have left, left them alone, the Roman probably wouldn't have happened. They would have crossed paths with Aaron more than likely or whoever wanted to leave Paradis. But it's all Marley's fault. Excuse me. Oh, why this stuff went down the way it did. I wish... They could have learned from the Eldian King's mistakes instead of repeating it. Because that's what they're doing. They're just repeating what the Eldian King did, which is sad. I wonder if he's saying this to himself to make him feel better, or does he actually believe that? What? What? He's a child, John. Wow. Exactly. Listen to Armin. <gasps> Connie, what the hell? I feel like everybody's blood pressure is high, so all this mess is just like, ah. Does she not understand that Zeke ain't the leader right now? They are scared. 
I'd be terrified. Oh my gosh, they're done. Oh my gosh, no, no, is that Sasha's family? Hold on, is that our dude? Oh shit! Get up, get up, get up, baby girl. Get up, baby girl, he's, get up! Oh my gosh, and Sasha's not there. Certified thug. She said, "Eat this, lunch up." Bam. Oh, I feel bad. Oh my gosh, that was our dude. That was him, wasn't it? I wanna cry? Okay, this show really gets you conflicted, and you just don't know. Am I the only one that gets conflicted while watching this dang on show? What was his name? Niels? I think his name was Niels or something like that. Look, you find the wrong ones. They're trying to live. I know, that's right. What mama said. What mama said. <laughs> There is a way for everybody to get together. Oh. No. No, you're not either. You are... I feel... I feel like in Gabby's case, it really wasn't her her fault because she's a child. You know what I'm saying? Ever since she was born, they had taught her that the people on Paradise were devils. They did all these bad things. Um, they're the reason why they their living conditions are the way it is. Like all of that. So with that, her whole goal was becoming as close to a Marlene as possible. So, though Gabby really frustrated me in the the first half of well, yeah, the first part of us meeting her, but as more as the story unraveled, the more you have to see it. She's a child. She's doing what she was taught. Though was it was it right? No, not by any means. But she is as, as young as she is. She is willing to look at things differently and try to make a change and take responsibility. So for that, I give Gabby two thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> oh. Is that Pixis? And y'all beat this old man up. Y'all should feel ashamed of yourselves, you little terrible monkeys. No, that's not Pixis. What's his name? Shadis. Yeah, sorry. Wrong person. You're welcome, Yelena. You gonna sit down with that, that... Yelena, you dumb as hell. Look at our guys making everybody move. Yo. That's so sad having to kill your own comrades. Woo! They are fast! Oh, I love this song. Ooh, traps. This is a bop! Oh, John, bro.
Oh, my heart. Why well, I want to cry? <gasps> Mikasa! Everything is going to shit. Yo, this is sad. Just thinking all the ones that you like came up with instantly turning and then you have to kill up. Didn't you see it too? Or does he not know? Because he's not a Marlin or um the subject of your mirror. Yup. Everybody about to die. Messing with Aaron. Man, I'll shoot you in the ass, bro. Pow pow. Yelena still can't even gra gather herself. What? Connie got him and she, he about to get fed to his mama. To turn her back to regular. She probably put the pieces together. He stripped of his writer. Annie. Wow. All right, you guys. So that was this. I, I feel like I have mixed feelings about this episode dealing with Aaron. If you think you do, well, you would think if you have the Founders Titan that you'll be able to do basically anything. You can take, well, you could turn everybody back. Um, but it seems if maybe that's not within his power but he did undo the hardening so now annie is out of her chrysalis i was wondering what the hell is gonna happen to her i, mean, I thought maybe one of the walls would have crashed or whatever and then um she would have been trapped under the rubble but it seems as if where she's at she's pretty much safe aaron's still going along with this nobody has had any dealings with aaron um in this episode but what i can say is I do appreciate how we're seeing Gabby grow. Like sh she has definitely grown. She's actually reflecting on her her choices, the choices of those that came before her, and all that. And I really like that about her. Before I really couldn't, I didn't really care for her at all, especially after how she shot Sasha. But again, she's a child. She was groomed to do this type of behavior. So technically, I really can't blame her full-heartedly when she was brainwashed by Marley and those who, you know, raised her. She didn't know anything else. Reiner was the only one that knew these types of things and he basically kept it to himself to keep those there safe. So it's like, now we're just stuck in this big pile of cow manure because now we have Aaron wanting to kill everyone, and yet Gabby, though, though reflects, she still has loved ones over there. She's going to want to fight for them. She's going to want to keep them safe. And right now, what are you doing? What what can you do in this situation? I want to know why Aaron also didn't stop those Titans from attacking his people. You're you're worried so much about your people. But yet you left your people defense, not defenseless, but pretty much having to fight these random, not random, I guess these Titans that transformed when Zeke bellowed. Like you could at least told them, hey, stop, don't do that. You know what I mean? We on a mission, come help the colossal Titans then take down our enemies. But yet you left them there to then 
kill your people. That doesn't make any sense. That makes no sense to me unless he said something or sent them on a mission like kill those, you know, in here. And the Titans can't really differentiate between the Marleyan soldiers and the um, subjects of Ymir people. But that would be stupid. So I don't know. I feel like Aaron is doing this all wrong. Here's another theory that I have. Maybe Aaron is doing this to where it's bringing everybody together to stop him. And then he alone will be the fall guy. And then that will bring everybody together into wanting to live in peace. Maybe that's... I'm trying to find some type of hope or silver lining with Aaron because right now he's not looking too good. He's not looking too good. And I know he said he he'll he's doing this because he loves his friends so much. But you I don't know about that partner. You doing some crazy stuff and you just left your friends here to be almost smushed and eaten by these random titans. Connie taking Falco. How do you guys feel about that? Do you guys feel he is justified in wanting to feed Falco, who's a child, who's innocent, has nothing to do with that, to, to his mother, who's been like that for four years? I get why Connie is upset. I get why, you know, he wants her back. He's been visiting her for four years. Four years. And of course, remember four years ago, that's when all the shit started hitting the fan. So it's like... I get where he's coming from. He wants his mother. Go hard for your moms, all right? But I don't think feeding Falco is the answer. They need to talk to Aaron. They have to find a way for Aaron to maybe turn everybody back. Maybe that's within his power to do and we just don't know it. Feeding Falco will not be a good thing at all, but yeah. Tell me, you guys, where do you guys stand in all of this? How do you feel? I know a couple of y'all definitely say you guys are strongly against Aaron. But, like, seriously, if you were to look at both situations and viewpoints, rather, how do you guys feel? Like, how do you guys see things? Do you guys think there's something... This is for the non-manga readers for you, okay? You manga readers, don't you spoil nothing. Anyway, do you guys feel as though Aaron should open up his brain into listening to Armin? I feel as if Armin is a sound voice. He is a sound voice and Aaron needs to hear him out. I love Armin's everything right now. He makes sense. Aaron is, in a way, I get it, but he's extreme with it. He's going like, instead of just going like a little five to 10 miles per hour, he went like a thousand miles per hour and is, has hit a sprint and is just going. Um, but yeah, Yelena looks lost. She don't know what to do. Flock has really, he said gather the volunteers. So he must, I guess maybe Aaron had followed through. I don't know. Was this a, a, a conversation? Aaron had with Flock or whatever. They were on the same page this whole time. I don't know. Did Flock know that this was Aaron's plan or is he just going along with what he thought was going to happen and then it actually happened and he now he's still thinking he got his job to do. I don't know. I did love seeing how Kaya had, and, and Gabby got back together and rekindled their, their little friendship. Um, how they stuck up for her and all that good stuff. I love that. But I don't know, you guys. As as more we dive into this, the more unsure I feel about everything. Why why are we here? Gosh dang, it. I'm so just like blah. But yes, you guys, thank you all for watching this episode with me. Let me know what you guys think down below. Manga readers, don't spoil, okay? And yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>